can even look at the camera. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just a little different. First off, I do want to say thank you guys so much for coming to my channel, watching this video, watching any of my videos, and subscribing to me. It really does mean a lot. I've grown my channel so much over the last year despite me being very inconsistent regarding uploads and, you know, just the topic of my content, not really knowing what niche little box I want to be put in. I really appreciate the support. I do want to say before I hop into everything else, here's a big giant trigger warning for you guys. If any of you have a history of eating disorders, disordered eating, whatever, and this subject matter is very sensitive to you, please don't watch this. Um, I just want to put it out there right now that I am going to talk about it. Uh, for those of you that it does trigger, I'm so sorry. Uh, I will have a video out for you guys next week, I promise. For everyone else who failed it, they can watch this content and won't be triggered by any of it. Here you go. I wanted to talk about my fitness journey slash weight loss journey. I recorded an entire video on this two days ago and I hopped in to edit everything and I just had this pit in my stomach because none of it felt genuine to me. Last night I had a weak point. I have been trying to work on my binge eating with my therapist since September and it was going so well I was able to lose four pounds and I felt really good about my choices in eating. I wasn't feeling guilty about allowing myself to eat certain things like I normally would. And on top of that, I was learning to figure out my triggers, you know, what caused me to want to just hop in and binge. But over December, a lot of things changed. Slowly moved out and I don't hold anything against her. I know how it is missing home. I don't want to go into her own personal business. It's not my story to tell. So just long story short, she moved out and we kind of had to like figure things out on our own because we did rely on her a lot. You know, I was working at Target and I'm no longer there anymore. I just kind of, it. there's just been a lot of anxiety and stress on my plate and I have a lot of free time now so I'm just constantly thinking about food especially because I'm just I'm literally right here in the kitchen most of the time I'm in here a lot and like I'm, I'm literally sitting in our dining room right now but after that I found out that someone that was very close to me was getting taken off life support because her cancer had progressed so much and there just wasn't anything that they could do. Obviously stage four cancer is a bitch. I grew up with her in my life for several years from middle school to high school and, and she was a big sister to me pretty much. Obviously, I'm still not over all of that. Loss is really hard to deal with, and I'm trying so hard to get myself out of like using food for comfort, but it has not been easy. And I've decided, I mean, I told everybody that I talk to the most on like Instagram, and I did post on my Twitter. I am taking a break from all of my socials, except for YouTube, because I do want to be able to um, use this as my outlet and kind of keep you guys up to date with everything, especially right now. So yeah, like the point of this whole video is just to let you guys know that there, this journey has just been so tough. And despite losing 13 pounds, from September up until December, working with Evelyn and just Maddie. Right now, it's just been so tough to deal with the loss and to deal with, you know, just yeah. coming to terms with being a stay-at-home mom again. I don't know, I guess 
I guess that's just something that I'll have to talk to my therapist about on Tuesday. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, you guys. Anyway, back to the whole freaking point of this video. My fitness journey. I started out with this whole journey in 2016. I was feeling really depressed and just fed up with the way that I looked and the way that I felt. I had started this new job in October of 2015, 2015, 2015 I think. Yeah, October 2015. I was working for a company that had a Nissan dealership basically. And I have a friend working with me. She actually trained me and we just grew so close. She loved going to the gym. She loves to work out. So I was like so pumped because I wanted to get into it too. And then Josh ended up getting deployed and that was just really hard on me emotionally. But that was also the time in 2016 that I was diagnosed with major depression and mild anxiety. So my therapist at the time and my doctor both recommended that I start, you know, working out to help cope. So that's what I did. I got really into fitness. That's when I found Jasmine Suss and Daisy and Viviani and just like this whole community on YouTube and Instagram and like just this whole community took over everything in my brain but I was still dealing with my whole binge eating issues and for a while I was just kind of like flip-flopping back and forth with everything fast forward to 2017 I had just recently got laid off I like just moved in with Josh and his family so I was very fortunate to get a job at Pachanga at their um, little coffee shop near the hotel. So I was working there. I was also a beach body coach on the side, but that didn't work out at all. Like that whole thing is just not for me and I'm just not going to get into that part of my life. So just, I'm sorry, that's never going to be a story time video. Uh. But anyway, I enrolled in the gym that was across the street from my house and I would go at like 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning because I'm a huge insomniac, but I just couldn't control my eating. And that's obviously a huge theme here is that my eating habits and my mental issues with it just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm trying to get at, right? Fast forward to June and July of 2017. We moved out to Rhode Island. I started working full time at the paper store. I met some really great people there. And one of my coworkers, who's a really good friend now, we became gym bros. We ended up going to the gym at like 4.30 in the morning on base. And it was just some fun times. And then, you know, just when I started seeing progress, um, literally like a week after I took that picture, I found out that I was pregnant with Aria. So my pregnancy kind of derailed everything. A lot of women are very fortunate to be able to, you know, still to continue their workout programs and, you know, their healthy lifestyle, but I wasn't. I almost lost Aria a few times, had a very hard pregnancy with her. I ended up being barred basically from working out. For the most part, I wasn't allowed to really do much at all. You will rarely see any pictures of me pregnant because I did not like the way I looked. I was probably the most depressed I was since 2016, since getting put on Zoloft and seeing therapists and my <clears throat> My suicidal ideation was very bad during my second trimester, so that's not very, very fun for me to say out loud to the rest of the world. Only friends and family really know about that. After that is when I decided to bring back my YouTube channel after I had Aria. And here we are today. All of the videos that you've seen are from this current journey, postpartum journey and this has been very difficult for me now we're fast forwarding to last year 2020 the year of gyms getting shut down the year of the entire fucking world getting shut down the year of fucking chloe ting dude 
after we moved to Virginia, I was doing like Chloe Ting's workouts with Soli. I was also doing some of Daisy's workouts from Daisy Be Fit, and I was dabbling in plant-based eating for a bit, but that didn't work out because of my fucking disordered eating. I don't know, I just, now we are here. I've been working with Evelyn since September, and I did lose most of my weight during her semester challenge. But after the challenge ended, we started getting into, I got, I started working at Target. Halloween, which is my favorite holiday, came around. You know, we drank a lot, we ate a lot. And then my in-laws came for Aria's birthday and Thanksgiving. And I literally have not been able to recover from that crazy binge whole thing. Like, I love my mother-in-law so much and I love her fucking cooking so much, but ah, mentally just haven't been able to recover from that. And then December hit, slowly moved, I quit my job, my relative passed away, and now we're here. But hopefully this whole thing kind of like gave you a better idea of where I'm coming from and why I'm struggling. And I hope that, you know, you're not looking at me and thinking, oh, she's just, she's not dedicated enough because I'm dedicated. I just got shit going on up here <laughs> that I need to work out. And I hope that I am, you know, somebody that someone out there can relate to so that they feel like they're not, or they're not feeling like they're alone in this because you're not, you know. You're not alone. Um, basically to wrap up this whole thing, I want to be able to pull myself out of this hole and I just want to be better. I want to do better. I want to stop feeling like I'm not in control because I know that I'm in control and I know that I can do this. It's just going to take some time. That's pretty much it. And thank you guys for sticking with me on this whole journey and for continue, you know, continuing to want to be here with me for this journey. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. They just thank you for fucking being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are leaving, you know, getting something out of this and that you want to see more. If you want to see more, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.